Okay, just look at those cute little faces. Well, what we have today is Muddy Paws collection from our friends at Hunky Dory. And before we get into the webisode, we'll just take a pause here and show you all the things that are in the collection. Please come play with us. Okay, well, here's the collection, but let me break it down for you. So as you heard, Muddy Paws, now this will make uh, at least 16 cards, so that's nice. All kinds of puppies, all kinds of greetings. Uh, it's got the foil card stock, the printed card stock, an idea sheet right there, you can see, and uh, lots of ideas. So then we have, of course, the coordinating solid card stock. They call it adorable scorable. There are 30 sheets. You're going to get two sheets of 15 colors. There you go. So with the puppies have a lot of colors. And look at this absolutely charming stamp set. In fact, that's going to be the first thing that Lene has done, and I'll show you about that in a moment. Then we also have foiled acetate. Now you may not have thought of foiled acetate when you think of puppies, but Hunky Dory did. There are 16 sheets, you're gonna get four designs, you get four sheets of each, and you know pu puppy, puppy prints are going to be on all of them, or some of them. Then Muddy Paws, this is a little book of, very, very popular with our customers. This is four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. There are 144 pages. 36 designs, you get four of each one, and wait till you see what Lene has done. Finally, we have the card inserts, but they've expanded the inserts, so they are the ghosted back images that are in the topper collection, but also there are 12 double-sided papers in here, so that's nice to know. Now, Heidi is still recovering with her bad back, and um, happy to say that Lene is still pitch hitting, so that's wonderful of her. And here is the first card, and we'll get in just a bit tighter so that you can see. And um, what Lene did is to look on the back of the package with the stamp, and she kind of mirrored the coloring. Now, she did stamp with Memento ink pad. Now, this is uh, an embossing uh, ink. It is a uh, pigment ink pad, so that's what she used. And she did use it on Hunky Dory's uh, lightweight card block. This is for, especially for stamping. So she did the two. And then she went in with the tri-blend markers. And as I said, you can kind of see a little bit. So she took her inspiration from the back of the package. So with lighter and darker shades. And of course, the tri-blends just work perfectly for that because there's three shades in every single uh, pen. And there you can see now, got the stamping done, got the coloring done. So then she went into a slimline card and she covered it with this piece. Now this is one of the inserts that is a double-sided paper. So this is what she used. As I said, puppy prints are everywhere. So she simply covered that slimline card. Ours are three and a half by eight and a half inches and the envelopes come with it. So that works out nicely. And then she put her stamped piece, trimmed it down just to match the stamp, and then matted it on black, which is one of the adorable scorable colors, and glued it to the front of her slimline card. Now, to add a little polish, a little something, she used our heart dazzles, and she can, you can see that she just placed them randomly between the puppies. And then she also, the hello there, that is from our We're Together Dazzles, and it comes in dazzles that are stacked like this, and then also the same words are done in a script going along with the words right next to each other. So that's how she's done that. Now, on the inside of her card, she has used another of the um, inserts, and this has the brown puppy prints, and simply, did a bead of glue down the fold and um, placed the paper there. And as you can see, uh, Lene lets these just kind of be loose. Now, if that you don't like that, you can certainly put another bead of glue right down here, press that down, do the same thing on the inside. But I think it has kind of an elegant look, even though this is a hello there with puppies on it. Now, the missing you is part of that same We're Together Dazzles and more of the hearts right there. So it just 
finishes it off quite nicely. I think you'll agree. Now let's get into our second card. And here it is. Now this is a five inch square card. And what Lene did is she used the Hunky Dory cards. Now Hunky Dory has cards that are five by five. And they also have some that are six by six, but the five by five is what Lene used. The other way you could do that is take our regular five by six and a half inch cards, trim off an inch and a half, and you'll have a, uh, and then I guess you have to trim off the sides too. That'll give you a five by five. So a couple of ways you can do that. Now, she is placing the fold on the left, so that's what you would wanna do. And then, so here is the blank card. And Lene again went into, well, actually went into the topper collection. And this is one of the foiled toppers. Uh, this is the um, card stock, and you can see it's foiled all over. And she cut this down just a little bit smaller than the five inch square. Now she did glue it onto the card. And then she took the adorable score board. Okay, totally different than adorable score score um, cardstock and she placed the uh, five by five card like so just positioning it right in there and then use the bone folder to just score now she did score on the front she turned it over and scored the same way on the back and you'll notice that she's scoring from uh, the outside point down to the inner point so just like that I know you can't see that here let me fold it that will make it a little bit easier. Now, Lene wanted me to remind you that um, having the paper on there, you're gonna want to fold it both ways just to make sure that it is really going to um, be moving the way you want it to. Obviously, that um, bone folder is attached, so you can use that to um, press this back and forth. So at this point, fold is on the left, You've got the card ready, and you've already got the paper on it, so that works nicely. Now, this is an easel twist card. So let me open it up and show you. This little guy is just going to lift and going to rest right there, so just really sweet. Now, let me show you the topper sheet that Lene used, and this is the one that she used. You can see lots of puppies on every single sheet. So in this case, she used this little guy, and it has three layers. There's an outside frame, a middle, and then this center topper. And Lene used all three of them, and she matted it on the black, and that's the black that you saw in the first card. So she simply matted it on there, and that way they're going to be really sturdy all together. Now, in doing that, then she glued that piece, just the bottom part of it, to the bottom part of the card, so it could move like so. That sounds reasonable. Then on the inside, she has taken more of the toppers. This border just goes right along the edge there. This little guy with the sunglasses, and then uh, happy birthday, old chap, it gets foam taped in place. And so you've got this really cute little card and you'll have the envelopes to match. So that works quite nicely. Now let's go into her next card and you can see some of that um, foiled acetate being used. Okay, so this card is going to open like so and I'm putting my hand back there so you can see that foiled acetate, very fun. This is a uh, sweet little puppy with flowers. And here's the inside of the card. So let me just show you what's going on. So Lene took our regular five by six and a half inch cards and she took the front flap and measured two inches from the fold and made a mark and then cut this and trimmed it down, okay? So that way she has all of this empty. And when she did that, she covered it with this piece of adorable scoreable that comes out of the topper collection. Now you'll notice it's got the purple flowers and this border, but Lene just simply used this piece of it. So she cut it to be the same size. So it's two inches by six and a half, glued that down, okay? Now the next thing she did was to take the acetate. And here's the acetate. 
like all of Hunky Dory's or most of Hunky Dory's acetate, it's gold on one side and then it's silver on the other. So you have your choice. In this case, she went with the gold because after all, these little toppers are gold foiled. So everything matches, okay. So this piece is going to get cut down to be the size of the card. So five by six and a half. And then she used extra sticky tape to attach it on the back of the card front. So just right there. That way it's um, not going to show and it's going to be just fine. Now, if that is bothering you, it's okay. I've got steps to take care of it, okay? So that acetate is in place with the extra sticky tape. And then she was ready to take the topper set, which is these two, so this one and this one. She glued the um, outside frame to the left side of the um, card and then foam taped the centerpiece in the center, okay? Now yes, that does mean that when you open it, you're going to see some foam tape, but Lene has a solution for that. So she cut another piece of that same adorable scorable, it's the same one that she did on the front, put some extra sticky tape on it, and then simply positioned it along the inside so it's going to cover up that um, piece that is showing, okay. And you just want to position this along the fold. And with extra sticky tape, it's wonderful because it's really going to attach, but you want to make sure that it's right in place. Now, what about this? Okay, she took another of the little topper pieces and put a purple uh, ribbon on just a knotted one on the top out of the purple collection and foam tape on the back of it. So this is going to go right over that and cover up all uh, little pieces that you want others to show. Okay, so that works nicely. Now the inside of her card was completely covered with one of the adorable scoreable, just like so. And then again, this little guy and this piece are from that same sheet. So this just gets glued down. This is foam taped. So everything comes together quite nicely. And just really sweet. That combination of the purples and the blues is just lovely. And it's really nice to duplicate it from what's on the toppers to what's on, side, on your card. Who said flowers and puppies can't go together? Yes, they can. Okay, now you might remember that another piece in this collection is the Muddy Paws. And here is what Lene has done with this. Now, as I said, these are four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. You get a ton of them. And Lene has done a good job of, of maximizing that. So in addition to the um, images of the puppies, just like that, there are also pieces that you can cut out. In fact, there are multiple sheets. Now remember, you get four of each one. So let me just walk you through what she's done. She first took this piece and matted it on a uh, blue that is in the adorable scorable. Isn't that pretty? Just a kind of a French blue. And then the front of her card was covered with yet another of the inserts. Again, you saw this on the first card. And so this is just going to cover the whole card front. The way we do that is take your adhesive, run it completely along the edges. I like to make a big X in the middle then position this right along the fold and along one edge of the card. That way it maximizes your papers. Press it down, turn it over, and trim to fit. You don't have to measure. It will just work every single time. Now with this little guy, he's going to get matted onto the French blue, adorable scoreable, and get glued down completely. Now, as I said, you get multiples of these, uh, four of each one. And what Lene did is she took the uh, four and a half inch professional scissors and just trimmed right along this little guy. And one way to do that, and this is the recommendation, is that you want to keep your scissors straight 
and move your paper. And sometimes it just takes a little, if you've not done that that way before, it takes a little bit of a concentration until you kind of train yourself to do it that way. When you have long pieces like this, just really easy to do. But when you get into the tinier, tinier areas, then you'll want to, um, as I said, hold your scissors straight and manipulate your paper like so. So that's all you do, it just takes a moment. This piece, she foam tape on top, and of course it matches. Now, how about all of this? Well, let's go through here. We have some greetings like, Yappy birthday, your possum, love you forever, okay? And that's right there. The um, little, let me see, that, um, there we go. There's the dog dish and the cake, of course, the birthday cake inside. We also have the hats. You notice these all have an edge so that it's really easy and forgiving when you cut these out, so that's fun. On the inside of the card, she used the same uh, insert paper that she used on the front and she's got the cake and then of course a nutritious dog bone right next to it and the happy birthday well the happy birthday comes from our happy birthday collection there are eight sheets you get 96 happy birthdays in three different fonts in all of those different colors if we're going to have something with eight sheets it's going to have eight colors and you can see that shiny blue is right there and that is the end of our muddy paws. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you are a dog lover, or more importantly, if you have people you care about who are puppy people, um, this is a great collection and it doesn't come along very often. So once again, you have the muddy paws topper collection. You have the coordinating adorable scorable, the um, uh, foiled acetate, which is really kind of a wonderful surprise. I think you'd have to back up a little bit, Steve. The inserts, and then finally are uh, the little book of Muddy Paws. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I want to thank Lene for again pitch hitting for Heidi, and I hope her back is getting better. I'm afraid it's not, so it's going to be a little while for her. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, I hope that you will go down below. You'll see the link to Paper Wishes come on over because we have a money saver. It's on the right side of your screen and uh, we'll give you a discount in buying the collection. And we hope that you will like us. We hope you will subscribe to our channel. And uh, we do wanna thank all of you for being part of our Paper Wishes family. We'll see you next time.